Hello, my Cracker Jacks. Welcome to my Cracker Jack box. Kiki here with another one of my spooky stories. So, for returning Cracker Jacks, much love. And for brand new Cracker Jacks, much love. We love everybody here. If you're brand new, if you could hit that subscribe button, maybe that notification bell, put that to all. I'm a hot mess express and you never know when I'm gonna drop a video. If you wanna get into my Cracker Jack box, send me your name, your address, and your email to Kiki's Cracker Jack box at gmail.com or slide in to my DMs on Instagram under Kiki's Cracker Jack box. So, are you ready to get into it? Today's spooky story is a urban legend in Texas, South Texas to be exact. It is the lady, the white lady of Rio, Frio. Ooh, white lady, we know where this is going, right? The origin of this urban legend starts from a great love, a betrayal, and a devastating heartbreak. The white lady of Rio Frio is said to be seen as a wispy fog down by the Frio River or, I'm sorry, down by the Nueces River near Frio in the community of Rio Frio. The story goes that there were two sisters. This story takes place in the 1900s. There was Maria Juarez and her sister. And they both were very beautiful ladies. Her sister was older than her. They were described as the most beautiful women in Rio Frio. Maria, her sister had gotten married and had some children. And Maria hoped to do the same. She just really wanted children and a husband to love. So, as Maria started to grow and get older, she became more beautiful. Her sister was married to a man named Gregorio. They had several children together. So, Gregorio is her sister's husband. And as she grew, Maria got more beautiful, as I said, and Gregorio started to notice her beauty. We know where this is going, right? He had a roaming eye. During that same time, Maria had met a young man named Selmo. Yeah, that's it. I am. I apologize. Some of these names. Al Selmo. And he began to court her. He started bringing her flowers and professing his undying love. Well, when Gregorio found out that Maria was going to marry Al Sel Selmo, he was just... He was devastated. He pulled Maria aside one day and told her how much he loved her, how beautiful she was, and that he wanted to be with her. And she just scoffed. She's like, no. And that upset him. He had a very big temper and his anger grew. No, yes. And she feared for her sister, but she couldn't worry about that. 
she had to run for safety. So she ran to her room and she waited. She waited there for her love, Alcimo. She heard a noise outside. Was it Alcimo? That's what she thought. So she ran to the door and she ran out to the front to greet him. But it wasn't Alcimo, it was Gregorio. He shot her right through the heart. She died instantly right there in the middle of the road. She was not able to have her children or the husband she so desperately wanted. Legend says that Maria glides across the town, the community. She will cover a child at night who is cold. She will sit by their bed to protect them. And you can also see her gliding across the river, the Nuarez River, in the community of Rio Frio, destined to wander as a ghost because her desires were never fulfilled. That is the legend of the white lady of Rio Frio. What did you guys think? I thought it was a pretty good story. Nice little urban legend from Texas, South Texas to be exact. So what do you think? Do you think her ghost will continue to roam the earth, roam the community of Frio, Rio Frio? Or do you think she'll eventually find some solace and cross over to the land of the dead. Let me know what you think. Okay, Cracker Jacks, that was my new story, my new spooky story, urban legend from South Texas. I want to thank everybody for joining me for this story. I love you all. Remember, Kiki loves you.